There's certain days that you know you will remember for the rest of your life. And I just have a feeling that today is one of those days. Something I enjoyed for Monday was driving in. I was very excited on Sunday night, so you know, driving in was my favorite part. Um, coming through late, but all the hype team were all there hyping me up. Probably just getting here and making friends. So I'm meeting everyone in my company. Meeting company 12. Love you guys. My highlight for Monday was meeting our company and making new friends. I was meeting my new company. Meeting everyone in the company. Uh, yeah, meeting the company. Introducing ourselves to the company. Meeting new people and making new friends. Um, something I enjoyed on Monday was family home evening. The tour around. Um, and the family home evening games that we had. Um, something I enjoyed on Monday was eating our lunch. That was pretty all good. Um, my highlight for Monday was probably just getting to know everybody in my company and going to beat. Seeing all the people from my old company and my company. Tuesday was probably going to the dance and making even more friends. Um, definitely the dance. The dance! Yeah, it was the dance as well. Yeah, my favourite was the dance too because everyone was just like together and it was real fun. Meeting other people from different company. Yeah, being able to meet everyone through the dance. The dance because it was nice and lit. I liked um, the post-it note activity. <clears throat> it was something that I really needed personally. Uh, no one was class four. It talked about spir spiritual. I enjoyed the Willis workshop also. I really liked how it really brought our company together because we were able to find out what we go through. Um, was eating the dinner it was so yum. Yeah, eating the dinner was nice. Mine's the armor of God too, is that when you put on the armor of God, there's no power that can be able to break it. Wednesday was my ch our chant, our team, our group, our company chant. The chant off. I think the chant off was the highlight for Wednesday. Our tug of war. Doing the chants, the um, chants. Yeah, hyped up. Sports and chant off. Uh, also the chant. I like that our company was actually in harmony and we were all hyped for each other during the games. And I'm getting to sleep in our dorms um, because we were so tired on Tuesday and also the athletics day. Um, I liked Wednesday's dinner. I think it was steak. <laughs> I liked the Preach My Gospel activity. I liked seeing all the future missionaries in our company. So, yep. Yeah. Um, and the, Wednesday was the talks from the missionaries, like explaining the experience. Mm, I liked sharing a lesson with my companion because I got to know my companion and also the principle that we were teaching.
highlight for Thursday was probably the variety show and when we all sang Armies of Hillman. Um, Sister Lameko's talk, um, it was really inspiring to me, so yeah. Sister Lameko was telling us that we are not alone, us young women are not alone. Mine was being able to um, sing in the choir and also the testimony bearing. Our musical, yeah. I uh, was listening to all the talks, uh, how inspirational they are. It was a testimony because it was emotional to me. My highlight was the testimony meeting, hearing everyone share their testimonies in my company is real touching. I love the testimony meeting, it really touched my heart. Um, I liked how everyone shared their experience <laughs> and um, this is a safe space for us and um, yeah. Same, I like the walking with Christ, um, the judgement room was the best for me. Just bonding off for my um, company and making more memories. Um, my highlight for first day was when we went through the um, walk of Christ and um, I felt the spirit um, in every step um, of the room. Uh, testimony and uh, walk through Christ. Walk with Christ. Uh, I enjoyed the walk of Christ, especially the last room, Saving Grace. Um, Mary Magdalene's testimony really touched me and I loved it so much. Um, my one was the uh, walk with Christ and the uh, pillow fight. I liked all the hard work put into the rooms. It was like, you know, brought to life and I really enjoyed walking with Christ. Um, one lesson that I'll take away from FSY is that to all the girls that you're not alone, um, that everyone is um, beautiful inside and out. Dare to stand alone. Well, um, I gained the desire to uh, serve a mission. Just know that um, Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ are there for you. Uh, one lesson I'm going to take home is that I know that Satan is real, but with Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost next to your side, you'll be able to overcome all his little temptations. Uh, me, I'm going to take Brother Lemichael's I'm um, listening home, um, it's about holding the line because I've been tempted to do a lot of things and I've just turned to the spirit. Um, I think Brother Lemichael's, uh, yeah, hold the line, um, stay strong and um, follow Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, one lesson I'll take from Rufus White is um, getting in the out zone. Um, you must do it to um, for growth. That God is always with me and he's in everything. Just to go home and love my family, teach them the right things. Jesus Christ and Heavenly Father truly love us and that we're all children of God. Show off your talent and don't hide it away. And listen to the still small voice. Don't follow temptations. Um, I'm going to take home that I am worthy and so is everybody else. You are worth it. What I'm taking home from FSY is the spirit. Um, there was a quote and it was, anything is possible with two people as long as one of them is God. Love one another. Um, to what is it that you um that you are unique? Uh, you don't need to be beautiful for anyone, and uh, love yourself. Period. Love yourself. Uh, there was a quote from Sister Lameko from yesterday's workshop, and it was, "We didn't come to earth to gain our worth; we were born with it." So our heavenly Father, He already knows our worth, and we can't get it from anyone else.
What's up, FSY? It's me, Mikey. And Lingy in the house. Uh, we're just here just to spread our love and gratitude for blessing us with a great week. Um, you know, we all hope that you've uh, gained a stronger testimony in Christ. And we hope that, you know, you're able to go out and share that little feeling or little teaching um, you felt uh, throughout this week. Last tip for my dear sisters is to remember to fix your crown and to fix each other's crown. Remember who you are and that you are a loving daughter of Heavenly Father. We love you all once again. And to all our counsellors and special teams, we appreciate you. And the Lamecos, we love you. Last run was the best. Was the best. We'll see you around. And yeah, FSY Coordinators 2023, signing out. I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. Finally, The Rock has come back to suck. Oh, no, you didn't. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> okay, if it's wife, family, we hope you've had a wonderful week. Uh, we're going to leave you with a few messages, and we'll get straight into it. Number one. It is yours. Get into the out zone, or if not, keep getting into the out zone. Number two. Cause a ripple effect by going out and serving others. Very nice. Number three is be a missionary for the rest of your life and you are called to the people, not to places. Number four. Never forget that you are a chosen daughter of God and be the one that straightens another's crown. Love you girls. Oh, nice. Number five. Boys, got my back nice and loud, please. Young men, what is your profession? Oh, oh. Hold the line! One last message from us for all our FSY youth that we have ever had over the years. Yeah, like everybody. All of you, including the counsellors, we wanted to let you know that, oh, we love you. We love you. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> we, we love, love you. you. No.